A small part in the outcome of the game, it will play a greater role in continuing to encourage competitive athletics. Lastly, these officials are guests of Dayton High School, and we ask that as students, parents, and citizens, to demonstrate the kind of respect to these officials you would extend to any dedicated person in a position of responsibility. Now let's meet the players in tonight's game. First, the reserves for the visiting Kingwood Park Panthers. Number four, Lizzie Quinn. Number five, Katherine Geyser. Number seven, Bryden Mueller. Number eight, Chloe Wilson. Number 13, Haley Seals. Number 15, Hayana Ibarra. Number 19, Allison Minnick. Now the starters. Leading off playing left field, number nine, Ava Kleinfeld. Batting second, playing shortstop, number two, Courtney Petrosino. Batting third, number 16, Abby Papadimitrio. Batting fourth, playing catcher, number 11, Taylor Crawford. Batting fifth, playing first, number 18, Kendall Olson. The DP, number 12, Sam Burns. Barnes. Batting seventh, number 21, Addison Gomez. Batting eighth, the right fielder, number 22, Keely Brown. Batting ninth, the center fielder, number one, Bailey Key. And pitching tonight in the flex position, number three, Erica Savage. The Lady Panthers are led by head coach Lindsey Gregory and assistant coaches Mariah Winstra, Connor Grant, and Lacey Gregory. And now for your Lady Broncos. First, the reserves. Number five, senior Leah Suya. Number nine, senior Layla Morales. Number 10, freshman Corey Whitehead. Number 13, senior Ashlyn Stevenson. Number 16, freshman Jess Woods. Now for the starting lineup. Batting leadoff playing third base, number eight, senior Mika Anthony Connor. Batting second in center field, senior number one, Ava Harrell. Batting third, playing shortstop, number 12, sophomore, Bella Barziza. Batting fourth, the catcher, number three, sophomore, Ariana Zuniga. Batting fifth, playing first base, number six, junior, Itzel Gonzalez. Batting sixth, the pitcher, junior, number 14, Maddie Alvarado. Batting 7th, the DP, number 7, Junior, Anave Cantu. Batting 8th, the second baseman, number 4, Senior, Ashlyn Didway. Batting 9th, the left fielder, freshman, number 11, Brooke Maddy. Playing right field in the flex position, freshman, number 2, Cadence Maxwell. The Lady Broncos are led by head coach Andrew Moss and assistant coaches Joseph Kay and Allie McKinney. Now to honor America, please stand. Gentlemen, remove your hats and join in the playing of our national anthem. Welcome, sports fans. I am your host tonight, Mr. Chris Rayburn. I'm one of the teachers at Dayton High School, and I'm joined beside me by one of my favorite students, Mr. Bradley White. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Bradley White. I'm co-hosting with Mr. Rayburn tonight. 
Uh, tonight's going to be in for a great game. Uh, and if you aren't following Lady Bronco softball, we need this win tonight to go to the playoffs. And so this district game is a big deal. Um, I want to go ahead and give a quick rundown of our starting lineup. Um, Meek Anthony Connor coming in batting first, then Ava Harrell uh, batting second. Bella Barziza followed by Ariana Zuniga. Batting fifth is Itzel Gonzalez. Sixth um, will be like Anna Vey Cantu, which will be hitting for our pitcher, Matty Alvarado. Batting eighth is Ashlyn Didway. Ninth is Brooke Matty. So we're getting started here in the top of the first inning as the Lady Broncos discuss the game plan and get ready to roll with this. Park comes up to the plate, get this thing started. Matty Alvarado looking down the barrel of the first pitch here. Shows bunt, misses, that's gonna be strike one. Taps that one, ball goes to third base. Can't tell they called that foul. That, that's a fair ball, so the runner takes first. All right, with the runner on first, wild pitch comes across, which can advance the runner to second base. Bradley, the ladies have got to get in a rhythm quick because they've already got a runner in scoring position, and we don't have any outs on the board yet. We've only thrown, what, three pitches? Three pitches so far. I think we're off to a rocky start, but it's only upwards to go from here. I don't think we're quite at rock bottom. I think we're starting off, we're gonna get into a rhythm, and we're just gonna pick it up. Maddie uh, definitely came in with the heat on that one. That's two to one now. Counts at two and two with a runner on second base. Thanks to a full count. Matty Alvarado trying to get this thing kind of settled down. A little control, maybe go and put a K on the board here in the first inning. Oh, and they call that one a ball. That seemed just a little bit high for what Thump was looking for. So now we're end up with runners on first and second. Pitch one comes into the ball. Side too, huh, Bradley? I mean, I'm trying to find the square up there. I am too, Mr. Rayburn. I mean, we're just hitting a little outside. Maybe we can just start going. I, right I mean, I know we have a little bit of an angle on it, but we're looking at. Um, 
guessing the ump is trying to find something just very, very, like, you know, paper plate size up there. Um, I think by the body language, Alvarado looks a little frustrated. She's thinking, like, these, these are good. Runners on first and second. Here comes the pitch. Calls that one a strike. Brings the count to three and one, still with no outs. Alvarado trying to get an out on the board here. Big chances. Just several opportunities here for a couple of double plays which really help the girls out. That one's hit right up the middle. Runner gets out at second and out at first. That's a double play. Ooh, they turned that one. That was nice. That was a good pickup from our last couple of pitches, Mr. Rayburn. See, that was Bella Barziza with the grab, flipping it to second. And then, let's see, um, that went over to Itzel Gonzalez on first, and out the double play. Talk about heat right up in that. Oh street. yeah, that thing was smoking. This girl's got an arm. Runner on third still, trying to close this thing out as the Bronco, Lady Broncos do have two outs. I, I, I'm confident that we can get out of this with, with, with keeping them at a zero on the board for right now. The momentum definitely has shifted. Just one pitch shifted. Here's the pitch. It's a small hit. That one's gonna advance easy out to first base and the Lady Broncos keep K Park at zero. Couple of rocky moments there at the start, but uh, turn it around, showed us that Bronco pride. Uh, let's take a second and talk about our first sponsor tonight. We're gonna open up with Morgan Marley with the Bayou City Group. You can hit a home run with your go-to realtor, Morgan Marley, with the Bayou City Group at Keller Williams Northeast. With 20-plus years of experience helping people like you sell, buy, and invest in real estate in the Northeast area, you can rest assured that you're in good hands in the Bayou City Group. Bradley, you don't know this, but actually, Morgan is actually my personal realtor and friend, and I would like to highly recommend her to anyone who's even thinking about making a real estate move. Her real estate knowledge and extensive network help my family buy and sell. You can scan the QR code to visit her website and learn more about her and her team. Again, a big home run thanks to Morgan Marley with the Bayou City Group. With us, your home. As the Lady Broncos in the dugout getting the lineup going, we're going to be starting off at the top with Mika Anthony Connor. I'm excited to see some... Uh, it's a beautiful afternoon, a couple of good shots would be nice. See, I really been popping like a song, I hold another level, you playing this into the field. People been on me, I swear they keep calling my phone, I'm like, hold on, let me check the scale. If she gets time of day, then I had a good place, so I'm back at the spot, she can feel like a pill. Now batting, number eight, Mika. Catcher's gonna practice the throw to second. Friday evening, about five, seven till seven p.m. Absolutely beautiful out here. We've probably dropped about five or seven degrees in the last 20 minutes. Sun's about to go behind the trees out here at the Lady Bronco Field behind Dayton High School. Um, this is great springtime baseball. Right? A little bit warm earlier, but man, it feels great right now. Let's see what these girls can do with this. Right off the bat, that is just a beautiful, beautiful hit on that.
Sorry about that, fans. A little bit of confusion. Apparently that ball went to center field and was caught. I thought it hit the ground. Um, so Mika Anthony goes out with a pop out to center field. So that does leave us with one out right now. And we are currently in the bottom of the first. All right, Ava Morell still at the plate. Count is two and two with one out. She fouls that one back. We now have Bella Barziza up to the plate, third one hitting tonight. We're going to go ahead and start this out. Short stop coming up. Count to two and two with two outs as Bella's going to try to keep this inning going. It's a hit. That ball goes middle field and does fall. So she'll be safe and take her base at first. Excellent contact. Which will bring up our catcher, Ariano Zuniga. Ariana holding tight to the bag as the first pitch comes, and that one's going to be fouled back. Ariana will take her walk back to the bag. Pitch count 0-1-1, still sitting at two outs. Ariana's on the plate. Here comes the pitch. That one's tagged back also, so that'll be 0-2. Janiga looking to run on any kind of contact here. You can really feel the pressure to start the build. It just starts to stack up. That one's hit. Hit well. That ball is going to go out to left field. And she caught it. Caught it deep at the fence. So that'll end the inning. And we close out the first inning. Bronco zero, K Park at zero. Which will give me an opportunity to talk about our next sponsor. Something big is coming to Houston. Big Air North Houston is an indoor trampoline and adventure park with a grand opening in May of 2024. 
with 35,000 square feet and over 30 attractions, which include a ninja course, zip lines, mechanical bull, flight simulator, climbing walls, dodgeball court, arcade, and so much more. It will be the top destination for birthday parties and team events, class outings, and everyday fun. You can visit Big Air USA to learn more about your soon-to-be favorite place in Houston. See you soon at Big Air. You know, Brad, I tell you, I don't know if you're listening to that, but did you hear Mechanical Bull? Yes, I did, Mr. Rayburn. I'm fired up about that Mechanical Bull. I'm going to go over there and give it a shot. Pitch is going to be low, way in the Count it, 1-0. Oh. That one was low, but thank goodness she took a big swing at it. Brings the count to 1-1 one one to even it out. Alvarado trying to get ahead in the count here. Don't want the second inning to start off like the first inning did. No, we don't. We don't want to rely on just trying to get that little comeback that we had in our last time out here. That one comes in the ball also, so it's two and one here in the top of the second. <laughs> Tips that one off to make two and two. Are going to look for that one good pitch. I bet she doesn't give her anything easy. Maybe hope she'll chase one here. We talk about heat up the middle. Yeah, that was nice. I can hear that. I can hear the snap of the glove back here in the outfield. She really meant business when she wanted to put that one away. Fresh batter stepping into the box. With one out down, Alvarado's going to go back to work. Alma gets tapped to second base. Second base flicks it over to. Oh, she was late on the delivery. That one is not going to be good. Not sure if that was a fumbled release or if it was just a little bit stuck in the glove, but I think the timing was there. Some, something got a little mishandled because it seemed like the ball got there in time. Couldn't quite get it out. So, K Park with. One out against them, puts a runner on first. Ooh, and the runner is hit. Runner took a pretty big lead on that. Um, dove back in the dirt, didn't get there in time. Looks like the ball might have tagged her. 
Yeah, she's gonna walk that one a little bit. Mm. She's taking it like a champ, though. Looks like she is a okay, folks. She is back on base. Trying to get a, trying to get a play out of that. It's an easy out at first right there, but we do have a runner gone out on the second base. That was a good play by the Lady Broncos. All right, with a runner on second base and currently two outs. First pitch is swing and a miss. Once again, two innings in a row now. K Park can put a runner in scoring position. Danger, dangerous things they can do. There's your runner. She gets ready for the pitch here. That one comes in a little bit high. Brings the count to one and one with two outs. start to see a little bit of frustration off our pitcher just trying to find a rhythm to start picking up this inning again. One There's a play. That's a hit. Where's it going? And they miss it. They pick it up. Throwing it. Oh. The runner holds it third. So we got runners on first and third with two outs. Thank goodness for that quick throw to home. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think the runner was in her mind already going. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just going to call that just a little high and outside of the box. That is going to be a ball. Smooth, smooth ball right into the glove of the catcher. That was just beautiful. But the, but the runner advanced, and other runners are on second and third. <laughs> Umpire called time. Something on the field. Right, back in the action. Right? Strike. That'd be one and two with two outs. One pitch will save the Broncos in this inning from K Park making some numbers. Really just laying all our chips out and taking them out. That ball is well struck and it goes over to left field and it's like it's caught. Caught right at the fence. It's a good save. Bradley, why don't you tell us about our sponsor, Morgan Marley with the Bayou City Group. 
Morgan Marley with the Bayou City Group. Hit a home run with our go-to realtor, Morgan Marley, with the Bayou City Group at Keller Williams Northeast. With 20-plus years of experience helping people like you sell, buy, and invest in real estate in our Northeast area, you can rest assured that, in your, that you're in good hands with the Bayou City Group. Number six, Itzel. Ball's fouled out. It is our shortstop coming up to the plate now. That one almost hit us <laughs> out here in the outfield. Whoa, mama. <laughs> we heard the thud and then heads up. Woo. Uh, that one had enough heat on it to go to the moon. <laughs> And she taps it going down right there into the middle of the diamond. Ooh, and she is out, man.
fouls that one off. That'll bring a full count. Still only one out, though, as the Broncos are trying to keep this one going. Side the line that is going to be a foul ball. She takes ball four, good eye. Takes the wall. That was one of the things he was batting for our pitcher. Which will bring up number eight in the lineup, which is Ashlyn Didway, our second base player. Or did I have that backwards? Oh, I believe Anave just came up. I had that wrong. Still out. She's going off to first base. The play is made, and she is out at second. Got to run her back on first. That was a good play for Katie Park, but we still got to run her on first. So Anave moves to first base, which will put Itzel Gonzalez back in the dugout. So here we are with two outs in the bottom of the second. Score still zero to zero. And then this is Ashlyn Bidway. Big swing and chops that one foul. That one goes over there to the boys baseball field. Saw some kids playing in the softball bounce before. Didway's trying to keep this streak going. A little action here. Catcher checks runner at first, sends her back to the base. Wrap up the second inning. Broncos and K Park still both at zero. Bradley, why don't you tell us about our sponsor, Big Air in North Houston? Big Air in North Houston. Something big is coming to Houston. Big Air in North Houston. A Club, 
rode in my taxi cab, everybody's looking at me now. Like, who's that chick that's rocking me? We are now on the top of the third inning. We got our Lady Broncos back out there on the mound, our pitcher back out there on the mound. She is ready to take this inning by storm and hopefully pick up from our last two. Contact the ball going straight down the middle of the diamond. And that is a play made. Look at that. And that is an out. That is a good call by the ump. That was a great play by our Lady Broncos, stopping that runner from hitting the first base. That was really good coordination on that throwing game there. just right down the line. That's going to go ahead and be called a strike. Contact with the ball right down the line. And that's no good. That's going to be an out. That's an out. Yeah, she tagged that one down toward first base. And uh, it was an e easy opportunity for the first base player to step over, grab it, and touch the, touch the bag. Wouldn't hurt my feelings to have one more of those real quick. <laughs> And that one just goes way out past the line. That is going to be a strike. Foul down the first base side, that is going to be a strike. Short contact made, it's picked up, thrown over the first base, it's caught, and ooh, I'm just going to call that out. It's out. Look at that. That is just great coordination with our Lady Broncos. They really, really just had great throwing coordination and team playing in this inning. Going to bring up the change from the top of the third 
to the bottom of the third. And I want to take this opportunity to tell you about one of our sponsors tonight. And same sponsor that sponsored all of our home baseball and softball streams. And that is Morgan Marley with the Bayou City Group out of Keller Williams Northeast. Hit a home run with your go-to realtor, Morgan Marley, with the Bayou City Group at Keller Williams Northeast with 20-plus years of experience helping people like you sell, buy, and invest in real estate in the Northeast area. You can rest assured that you are in good hands with the Bayou City Group. Morgan is actually my personal realtor, and I would highly recommend her to anyone even thinking about making a real estate move. Her real estate knowledge and extensive network helped my family when we bought and when we sold. The process was quick and easy. Scan the QR code to visit her website to learn more about her and her team. Again, a big home run thanks to Morgan Marley with the Bayou City Group. With us, your home. Contact right down the middle of the diamond, right down the middle of the field. She's going to first, and she sticks right at first. So left fielder Brooke Matty batting first in the bottom of the third. Nice clean hit, takes first base. And Lady Broncos are trying to get something going here quick, out of the gate, with no outs. Which will bring up um, our ninth batter. Well, we're, we're back top of the top of the rotation. It's gonna be Mika Anthony Connor looking for a big shot here. To get, to get some runs going. with the ball and that is out that is a home run look at that Ooh, there's a home run right there she tags that one that'll bring in two runs meek anthony connor talk about a double play there that is just beautiful and the broncos take the lead two to nothing with the moonshot by mika that thing came flying by the broadcast table. I like that. I wouldn't mind another one of those. to the batting box, and that ball is going to go ahead and go right behind it. That's going to be a strike.
contact with the ball. That one's going way up high, and that is going to go behind her, and it is caught. It's caught. It's caught. That is an out. And that is now one out. She had like the basket right there. No betting. Number 12, Bella. going to hit the pitcher. She bunted it and it hit the pitcher. She's going to first and that's a bad throw way overhead. She threw that thing wild but the uh, first base went straight straight for it so uh, Hell's a runner at first with one out still. Looks like Kay Park's going to have a little powwow there at the mound. The pitcher took a nasty one to the shin there. That one got hit the left field and it's caught by the left fielder. Well, I thought that was caught by the left fielder. They haven't put the out on the board yet. Oh, did maybe she? Oh, she must have, have dropped it because we the runner advanced to first and second. That worked out great for us. Through the, the netting, I couldn't see that she she missed it. I thought she caught it. So now we've got runners. So we got runners on first and second. With just one out still. <laughs> Still with just one out here in the bottom of the third, the Broncos are going to have some fresh pitches to look at, see if they can keep the momentum going. Remember, we already had a two-run shot by Meek Anthony Connor, and now we've got runners on first and second with still just one out.
go ahead and bunt that. That's going to go right up the middle of the field. We got Itzel running the first base. The play is thrown back, and the ball is missed. Yeah, so she struck that one. It went right up center field. The runners all advance a base. They got the ball in quick, though, to hold the runner at third. So now we have one out still with bases loaded. Just hoping for something to get those girls on the bases moving. Maybe for a quick or something to get some home, get some points to the ball. And that is going to be another shot. It's going to be two outs now. for something to happen. And that's another point on the board for the Lady Broncos. Yes, yeah, so the Broncos bring another run in, making it three to nothing. The bases are still loaded. As we're sitting here with still two outs, K Parks wondering how they're going to get out of this inning. Our batter is Ashlyn Woodway, second base player. Good 
they try to keep this the hot streak going. Oh, he's almost popped that one on the center. That was close. I would have jumped high. She stood there like a champ waiting for it. It's like you can just feel the heat rise and just the frustration off that pitcher's mound. Move to the top of the fourth. Riley, why don't you tell us all about Big Air North e Northeast Houston or North Houston? Something big is coming to Houston. Big Air North Houston is an indoor trampoline and adventure park. Grand opening May of this year with 35,000 square feet and over 30 attractions, including a ninja course, zip lines, mechanical bowl, flight simulator, climbing walls walls, dodgeball court, arcade, and so much more. It will be the top destination for birthday parties, team events, class outings, and everyday fun. Visit BigAirUSA.com to learn more about your soon-to-be favorite place in Houston. See you soon, Big Air. Did I hear you say mechanical bull? Yes, you did, Mr. Rayburn. Oh, man, I'm telling you. I'm ready to go ride that thing. Absolutely wonderful April evening here. The moon's out, wind, slight breeze. I would say the temperature's right at about 72. It's just comfortable. Um, the bugs aren't bad. And the Broncos are winning. I mean, what else can you ask for? Ball going right down the line. That's going to go ahead and go out, and that's going to be a strike. Counts 0 to, n to 1. Ball is going to be tapped, caught, thrown over to the first base, and she is out. Beautiful. Clean and beautiful coordination from our Lady Broncos in the infield. And now it's just a clean strike right down the middle and a swing in the miss, just right over the top of that one. Maddie Alvarado just as focused as she can be on the pitching man. She's really out here just bringing the heat. You know, she's standing on business tonight. And they want to win this game. 
counts one to one. Ball is just a little low underneath the square. And another strike, just a swing and a miss for Kate Park. Counts one to two with one out so far in the top of the fourth. And another beautiful, beautiful strike. Another swing and a miss. That is now two outs in the top of the fourth. Maddie Alvarado just all focused here tonight on that mound and bringing the heat. Ooh, and that's caught by our first baseman. And that's gonna be another out. Talk about a play right yeah, there. Yeah, Angel Gonzalez, I believe that's two wins in a row she's had that happen. Just line drive right to her, boom, easy play. As we move to the bottom of the fourth, your Lady Broncos lead three to nothing. Sponsors for tonight, Megan Marley, Morgan Marley, Bayou City Group. Hit a home run with your go-to realtor, Morgan Marley, with the Bayou City Group in Keller Williams Northeast. With 20 plus years of experience helping people like you sell, buy, and invest in real estate in Northeast area. You can rest assured that you are in good hands with the Bayou City Group. Scan the QR code to visit her website and learn more about her and her team again. A big home run thanks to Morgan Marley for the Bayou City Group with us. Counts one to one in the bottom of the fourth. And that's Brooke Matty, our left fielder up there in the batting box. The count is one and two at the bottom of the fourth. Pitch just a little outside the box there. Counts now two and two. And that's now. She got her swinging on that one. See, I really been popping out the zone. I hold another level. You playing this is to the bell. People been on me. I swear they keep calling my phone. I'm like, hold on, let me check the scale. If she can time a day, then I had a good place. So I'm back at the spot. She can be like a prayer. People, please stop. No batting. Number eight, Nico. Hey, now back in the batting, bo ba uh, batting box is Nika Anthony Connor. Last time we saw her out here, we got a home run. Maybe we can get a repeat of that.
Not really sure what's going on in the field. Typically when this happens, it has something to do with the batting rotation, batting order. Maybe somebody got mistaken in the, uh, the lineup or there's a player change, so they come out to discuss that. One of these things we're gonna get those um, umpires mic'd up, like like the big times. Mika's back out in the batting box. Kitty Park's picture with the wind up. And that's way high. That's gonna be another ball. Counts two to nothing. Bottom of the fourth, one out. Count now two and one contact with that ball, but it's going outside and ending up being a strike. And she swings at that one. And that count is now three and one. Three and two. Full count, folks, full count. The count is two and two. They put the the strike on the ball counts, so they reset the clock, uh, reset the pitch count, so now it's two and two. And now that's a full count, folks. The pitch going way outside the box there. Riley thinks she's scared to pitch to her? Well, seeing as that last inning there was a home run out there, I'd be a little scared myself. Uh-oh, and another one. Ball well struck, but she right fielder catches it. And that's going to be another out. There's now two outs in the board and the bottom of the fourth. Ava Harrell batting, ball is foul. Pitch just a little high, count one and one, with two outs on the board. Ava Farrell, just as calm as she can be in that batting box all night long if you've had a chance to see her. She's just cool and collective of herself in her thoughts tonight. She's running out to first base, and yeah. she is That out. one just tipped straight to the pitcher. Caught the, caught right on the end of the barrel. Didn't have much on it, and the pitcher just snacked it up. and Easy throw to first base. That'll close out the bottom of the fourth inning going to take this time and take a slight break. We're back at the top of the fifth, folks. Strike a pose, drink a bit back, call a hammer, bought 
rolling straight for low. TikTok famous, so that means that everybody know. I'ma be the first to hit a softball in my cubby code. Hate is steady talking, but they consistently capping. I just smile big while I'm consistently laughing. I just tell my dad and my mama we gon' get some. Right down the middle, thrown the first base, and that's an out. Great coordination from our Lady Broncos. That ball is hit when it goes outside and it is going to be a strike. Ooh, and she just nicked that one. That grazed the ground and then hit her ankle real hard. Seems to be limping away from the batting box with that one. That is going to be a strike. Batter seems to be in some discomfort now. She walks it off and she steps right back into the batting box, folks. Pitch outside just a little bit, count one and two. Pitch a little high going way outside the box. Count two and two with one out at the top of the fifth. Ooh, and she hits the batter on that pitch right in the hand. That's going to go ahead and walk her off the first base. That's two hits this batter is taken now. I made a mistake first. She fouled that off of herself and she will not be taking the first base, but she is calling for it to be on. There's the pitch and uh, she is uh, that's full count there. It's a strike, folks. A swing and a miss. Tell you what, give props to her, though, for taking as much abuse as she did out there in that batting box tonight. Yeah, I mean, she put up a big fight. That that was uh, not an easy bat. And I mean, it worked out best for Alvarado and Lady Broncos, but she, uh, she, she, she definitely went down swinging. You know, no pun intended there. Down his hit going straight down the line. It is in. It's good. And that puts the runner on first base. Stepping up to the plate. 
pitch, and that is a strike, swing and a miss. Now 0 and 1, with two outs on the board, top of the fifth. Here's the pitch. A swing and a miss, and that's a play. Through at the first base. Runner safe. Yeah, Runner took a pretty big lead on that. Unless she might catch her off balance, but she, she jumped back quick. Zuniga from the plate, giving her the old stink eye. She keeps checking her. She didn't like her taking that big of a lead. Zuniga sees the opportunity here to close out the inning with one throw. Oh, that one gets thrown into the dirt, but uh, so that Tinsel Gonzalez stops that one from getting away. I think after three out of four attempts there, she, the runner's gonna stay pretty close to the bag. Oh, runner's going. Oh, it doesn't matter though, the pitch is a strike and that'll end the inning. Megan Marley. Morgan Marley hit a home run with your go to realtor. Morgan Marley with the Bayou City Group at Keller Williams Northeast. With 20 plus years of experience helping people like you sell, buy, and invest in real estate in the Northeast area. You can rest assured that you're in good hands with the Bayou City Group. Scan the QR code to visit her website and learn more about her and her team. Again, a big home run thanks to Morgan Marley with the Bayou City Group. With us, your home. bat number 12 that ball goes foul this will be Bella Barziza shortstop leading us off here in the bottom of the sixth three to nothing Broncos leading K Park in case you weren't here when we started this broadcast just want you to know that <coughs> winner of this game gets to advance to the first round of the playoffs so the Lady Broncos are trying to maintain what we got here so they can get a playoff game. I'm just gonna call that last pitch another strike. Counts O and two. That pitch just a little low in the dirt. Counts one and two. Down, down the center of the field, and she is out. It is caught.
Ariana Zuniga now in the batting box. That is our catcher. And that first pitch is going to be a strike. Pitcher stepping up. There's the wind up. That one just a little low towards the dirt. But I'm just going to call that a strike. Yeah, she took a big swing at that. Um, that she should have brought her shovel to hit that thing, Bradley. That thing was low. But she's eager here. Uh, she's eager. She wants to get in the game. She's ready to take one out here. And she swung at that and barely tapped it. Catcher missed it as she went out to first base there. Wow, the catcher couldn't find the ball, and so she gets to go ahead and gets to advance to first base. You don't get to see that every day in baseball. No batting, number six, it's up. Oh, I think they're switching runners. So with only one out, first base player Itzel Gonzalez comes to the plate. For those that don't know this roster, I'm going to brag and say there's quite a few freshmen on this team and sophomores. So really, really good looking opportunity here for the Lady Broncos in the next few years. Like we just saw Ariano Zuniga, um, sophomore. And um, like I said, this team is full of freshmen. So very, very exciting things to come out of this program in the next few years. Big shout out to Coach Moss for the great work he's doing here with these ladies. On that last pitch, it's will show the bunt, but missed. And shows it again, misses it Second baseman dropped in the mound on the second base. Safe on first and second. There was a drop ball thrown out to the second baseman. Still just one out on the board from the bottom of the six. Two runners on base. Yeah, another great opportunity here for the Lady Broncos to do what we did in that three run inning. Manufacture some runs the old fashioned way. Just need one good double here and bring one or two in. There's a pitch just a little high outside the box. That's going to be a good one. Again, our pitcher in the batting box, Maddie Alvarado. It's like our runner who took the base, uh, Leah Suyuk on second base in running and scoring position. Hoping she can make it around. I'm just going to call that a strike. It's going to be out. Where he's got the three and one. I was lost in the count on that one, Bradley. Trying to watch runners on first and second. <laughs> it's exciting. Good chance to bring some in. In the 
Thatcher took some heat off that pitch on that one. She seems to be on the ground now. I'm gonna give her some privacy as uh, trainers are gonna come out, the coaches take a look at her. Give you this opportunity to see what the scoreboard looks like. Still talking with the trainer. She's slowly making her way back up. Going to let her have, have a chance. There you go. She gets back up on her feet. Going to walk that one off. Never want to see a player get hurt. Teammates come in and give her a high five and shake it off. Back in the batting box now. So it does it First pitch going to be a strike right down the middle. Pitcher standing back there. There's the wind up. That one high, way off the mark. Ooh, you can see that runner off second getting an answer and ready to go. Counts one and one. Is fully loaded. Bottom of the sixth. And that one taps right down the middle. And that brings a run in. Base is fully loaded again. Runners on one, first, second, and third. Base is fully loaded. First base, good speed, narrowly got away with that one. So it's gonna hold us, still with only one out. And it looks like Kay Park's gonna have a meeting of the minds there at the pitcher's mound. Suyuk scored the run, advancing the runners around. Ashley did way up into the batting box now. Here goes the pitch. She swings at that one. Counts one and two. One out still. Here comes the wind up from the pitcher. And that was tapped going out, and that is a foul ball. Counts 0 oh and 2. 
Broncos still holding here with just one out. The base is loaded, trying to put some more on the board while the, you got strike by the iron side. Pitcher stepping back up, trying to get something started. Here's the windup. Not a look, and it's out. Catcher did not catch that. Here's the pitch, and it's tapped right down. And it's out. It's going to be another foul on the board. Count 0 and 2 with so many one out in this. And now it's hit. It's going out way out to center field. That's Popcott that did catch that ball. There's two outs now in this inning. Pitch thrown and a swing and a miss. That is Brooke Maddy in the back. Thrown. That was swung and half goes out behind her. Pitch thrown again, and that one just barely tapped, going right behind her. Scoreboard's 0-2 with two outs. That is a strike. Slow pitch right down the middle, not swung out. To the devil catcher, that is an Exciting game so far. Thank you again for tuning in and watching for this tonight. Looking back at the past few minutes, we can just see the consistency with the Lady Broncos and how they've been playing. We're really just keeping it all together. We started off a little bit rocky, but we started pulling together and started finding that rhythm. We started finding that rhythm real early into the second inning, and they just carried it over now to the rest of this game. Now let's see if we can finish out real strong and keep starting.
That's Matt Wilder out right on the edge. Do that for the pitch, and it is going to be a strike. Pitch going to be out just a little bit. Count one and one. Top of the second. There is the pitch off the mark, but still swung at and tipped. That's going to be one and two. Count is one and two. Top of the second. That pitch going to be low in the dirt. It's going to be by the catcher. Counts two and two. Beautiful pitch right down the middle. Batter swung at that and a miss. That's now one out. One out on the top of the seventh. right down the center down there. Guys gonna do a strike on the board, count O and one. With one out, top of the seven. Another beautiful another pitch right down the center. Count O and two. Wind up. There's the pitch. I'm just going to call that a ball. Count one and two. Matty stepping up again. Here comes the wind up. That's the pitch, and just a little high off the mark. Count is now two and two at the top of the seven. There's the pitch way high, and that is a full count. Only one out here still on the top of the seventh. We're at the full count. There's the pitch. And I was hitting his caught way out in center field. One that was lofted way out in center field and caught, and that is now another out. It's two outs in the top of the seventh. the pitch, and that one just tapped and gone out right behind it. Counts 0 and 2. Two outs and the top of the Next pitch, just a little high outside of the box. Counts now at one and two with two outs. And it seems there's been just a miscommunication 
on the scoreboard between us and the innings. Uh, technical difficulties on operator part. Somehow I uh, was wrapping that inning up too quick. <laughs> The uh, official scoreboard shown there shows that we're in the top of the sixth inning. My mistake. Maddie up. There's the pitch. And that one low but swung out. Another beautiful inning with our pitcher, Maddie Alvarado. We're not going to the bottom of the sixth. Something big is coming to Houston. Big Air North Houston is an indoor trampoline and adventure park with a grand opening in May of this year with 35,000 square feet and over 30 attractions, including a ninja course, zip lines, mechanical bull, flight simulator, climbing wall, dodgeball court, arcade, and so much more. It will be the top destination for birthday parties, team events, class outings, and everyday fun. Visit BigAirUSA.com to learn more about your soon-to-be favorite place in Houston. See you soon, Big Air. Pitch low went off the front of the catcher's shoe and just jumped straight up. One knows the count. Pitcher stepping back up. There's the windup. There's the pitch. And that one outside, way towards the batter. Inside. Almost hit the batter there, folks. Counts now two and one. Count goes to three and zero. Oh. The bottom of the sixth with no outs to Nico and Connor. Just a little bit and bounces off and back. Counts now three and one. Again, good pitch, and that one is hit right down center field, and it's missed. And it's going way out of pass into the center field. Runners held it first. That was a great play. Ball 
ball missed going out towards center field. They missed the pickup on that, going way out to the back. Just left Mika the opportunity to stay at first. No batting. No. Ava Harrell now in the batting box. Bunts that ball out, just foul. Counts 0 and 1. Off that match, last pitch, and a show. Miss to strike, 0 right, 2. There's the pitch. That one just a little bit. And there's a bad throw going out to first base, which gives Ava the opportunity to get first. Mika went out to third base with a great plan of the end of the Yeah, getting this close to the end of the game, the uh, Broncos trying to stack a few more in their favor so that when we go to the seventh, K Park is uh, still, we're still about of reach for him. We're in a good position here, no outs, runners first and third, starting this off hot. No batting, number 12, Bella. Bella Barziza now stepping back into the batting box team. Pitcher coming in. Here's the windup, here's the pitch. And that's going to be a ball just to the left side. Runner off first advances to second. Second and third. And held back. Hit. You can hear the clank of that a mile away, and it is caught way out there towards the right field. Runners check up, and the throw comes in hot from right field, so Mika is forced to hold it third. So that'll put one out on the board, and the runners Maybe remain like at second and third base. Pretty impressive I'm throw from deep in right field. No batting, number three, Ari. Ariana Zuniga, our catcher, back into the batting box. Pitcher stepping up. Here's the lineup. And that one's just barely tapped, going out to the side and out. That's a foul. Count 0 and 1. One out on the board in the bottom of the sixth. Pitch, tap, and that one goes way out to the side. It's a foul ball, count now 0-2. Again, pitch thrown, hit, way out to the side, foul ball. Check swing on that. Count goes 
two and two. Still just one out with runners on second and third. comes the pitch. Oh, and that's swung at. No pitch, but swung at. That is the second bottom of the series. Yeah, Bradley, with two outs, Lady Bronco were trying their hardest to get one more run on the board before Kay Park gets their last shot at this in the top of the seventh. It's all back into the batting box. Yeah. There's the pitch. Way high. That one's going to be out of the box. That's going to be a count. One and nothing. Two outs on the board. Runner still on second and third base. If you're stepping back up to the line. There's the windup. That one's tapped way out to the side, just a bit, stays in. And that is another out. Caught, thrown, right at the first base, and caught before Itzel can get there. As you get ready for the top of the seventh inning, we'll take this opportunity to tell you about Morgan Marley with the Keller Williams Northeast Bayou City Group. Hit a home run with your go-to realtor, Morgan Marley, with the Bayou City Group at Keller Williams Northeast. With 20-plus years of experience, helping people like you sell, buy, and invest in real estate in the Northeast area. You can rest assured that you are in good hands with the Bayou City Group. If you didn't know, Morgan is actually my personal realtor and friend, and I would highly recommend her and her, and her team to anyone even thinking about making a real estate move. Her real estate knowledge, extended network, helped my family buy and sell easily. You can scan the QR code to visit her website and learn more about her and her team. Again, a big home run thanks to Morgan Marley with the Bayou City Group. With us, your home. Side and that will be a foul. It's way out. It will be a foul. Counts 0 and 1. Top of the second. Pitch looked a little uneasy off the mark there. Going up high and out of the box. Just going to call it strike for a swing out. Counts 1 and 1. There's the pitch down up high, but going right behind her. Counts now one and two. Things starting to heat up now. There's the pitch, and that is going to be a ball. I'm just going to call that a ball, a little outside, just a little outside the box. There counts now two and two. Top of the seventh. 
There's the pitch. And that one is swung at. That's an out. First out. going to be high off the mark. It's going to be called a ball. Count one and one with one out. There's the pitch. Just a little outside the mark. Count now two and one. Swung, swing and a miss. Count two and two. There's the pitch, and that is swung and a miss. Swing and a miss, folks. Second out of the top of the seven. One away from putting this thing all the way, folks. Stepping up, there's the pitch. And just a little high, it's going to be part of the ball. Count one and zero. Two outs on the board. There's the pitch. Right down the middle, that's going to be a strike. Count one and one. Ooh, just going to be a little high. Well, just a bit. That's going to be a ball. Count now two and one. There's the pitch. Right up towards the top of the box. I don't know if swing it. That is a strike count now, two and two. Just need one more to put this all away. Maddie stepping up. There's the wind up. Ooh, that's going to be a close one, but it is going to be called a ball. That is a full count on the board, folks. There's the wind up. There's the pitch swung out, and that is an out. That's the game right there, folks. Lady Broncos have won it four to nothing. Absolute shutout of the game.
as the uh, Lady Broncos <coughs> celebrate tonight's win, going to first game of the playoffs. Very exciting. I want to thank everybody that tuned in and watched the game tonight with us. Um, it's always fun to win, especially when it matters. Friday night, great time here at Bronco uh, <coughs> Softball Field. Very proud of these ladies tonight. Great game, great pitching by Maddie Alvarado. Um, definitely a team effort. And uh, just want to close out and tell everybody thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the network. And we'll see you at the next event.